Well, let's get to tonight's incredible show. Who do we have in studio? I can't believe it. Jeffrey Hazlett. Round two with he's, Jeffrey Hazlett. He's back. He's, <laughs> he's back. back. With a ve- he's back with a vengeance. <laughs> I want to say that. You could hear it in his voice. Why do we have Jeffrey Hazlett in studio? Well, first of all, we got incredible feedback. In fact, last week's guest, Rabbi Isamar Ginsburg, he is actually a good friend of Jeffrey as well. He's a good guy. And, yeah, a couple guy. of shout-outs there. And we got so much feedback from the show. In fact, on well, the YouTube channel. Well, that's because, I'm, I, because you know, a lot of people have a face for radio. I have a face. I'm eye candy. Yeah. So just that alone. They, were, they that just is wanted true. to look at me. I'm so He's handsome. He's saying it, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, that was my impression of Donald Trump right there. That was it. That was, that was the one. <laughs> Maybe we're going to talk about that in a little bit later. Um, <laughs> Um, now, Jeffrey runs the C-Suite Network, yep. and coming up in a couple of weeks, a couple of short weeks, is the is the semi-annual C-Suite Conference, this time in Boston. So tonight's show, I want to actually, uh, for the benefit of our listeners, the listeners of Mind Your Business and the power of 77 WABC, I want to introduce them to this incredible conference. Many of them, I'm sure, have heard about it already. But if you haven't, we're going to talk with Jeffrey about this conference. You know, yeah. and, and speaking of that, we got a conference coming up. So I want, yeah. to put, I want to put this out right off the bat because um, because I want people to know, but to get them while they're interested and they're listening to us. Okay. I want to make sure that we give some free passes out. Hey, and, you don't know. You know, that. last time you caught us off guard too. I'm gonna. I like You're catching off guard. Hey, this is the way it is. Oh, you got to right. be. You got to be relentless with well, me. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're relentless. That we so, know that's your word. So <laughs> it's a thousand dollars is what it costs to come to the conference. I want to give you two passes that hey, you can use for anyone. Pesach. All right. Two. You heard it here first. You mind go. your business. Look, we're getting two a standing, free standing, passes. In, standing ovation right here in this room. This is great. Thank so that, you. So that's two grand. We want to give away. You you okay. decide how you want to give them. I don't know how you want to do it. You know what? If you send a text to 66866, the word bottom line is one word, you'll automatically be entered into this drawing. So we'll give, it's very But gracious. I tell you what, I'm going to up it right now. I'm going to up it. What we'll also do for anyone that actually texts, because you're only going to give away two, right. and you're going to have so many people, right. I'm going to give half off registration for everybody else. And so we'll give you a code, wow. and then we'll give you okay, a code so that anyone, they can do. So then we'll let them know. Well, we'll give it to you and all your listeners. They'll just be watching your tweets, watching your uh, Facebook. So we'll, we'll, we'll send it we'll out give special, special 50%. Code. I don't this even know what the code really is. Great. I'm going to have to find the we'll code. We'll get the code. My people wow. are going to be ticked, but that's okay. Wow. I don't care. It's all right. I'm the first boss. Of all, Jeffrey, first of all, thank you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's fun. <laughs> you know what? I remember, in, and again, that was a great interview. If you go to the archives, WABC Biz Radio, when we talked about it, you said that one of the reasons that, now we understand C-Suite involves corporations, but sometimes you got to go at it, you know, kind of, you said you were talking about beating up on corporate. Yeah. And that's corporate. Corporate, You talked right. about it in the book. So here is like, Jeffrey had the opportunity. He's excited. He's excited for the listeners of Mind Your Business, and he's making an offer right here on the air. Did you did you check it with corporate? No, I didn't check it with hey, corporate. Let's that? do it without corporate. It's right? a- <laughs> yeah, this is causing some tension. You know, causing tension, as I've said this before, <laughs> and you find that a lot of C-suite execs are really good at this, too. They're, um, in fact, I talk about this in my mm-hmm. book about being a little irrational. Every once in a while, it's good to be pig-headed. irrational. Yeah, and pig-headed. Because what you do is you're, you're stretching. You're pushing it. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. And if you're pushing it and you're being real uh, who you are, then you're going you're gonna to advance yourself and you're going to be good. And that's really what this is about. You know, our conferences, we talk about innovation. In our C-suite, we have people who write for us. And we've got some great guests that are coming up at the conference. Some unbelievable people that Could are going to be Could you share that with the audience? Absolutely. It's right there on the website. So you can go to c hyphen uh, Suite network.com okay. and there's the conference you can find out about it but you know we got beth comstock now beth um for those who don't know beth is the vice chair of ge one of five vice chair women in wow. the world of companies and here she is now she was a former chief marketing officer at ge she was a formerly at nbc and i happen to know her pedigree because we happen to be very good friends too and she's on our board of directors for the c-suite and she's coming in and i'm going to interview her on stage and we're going to turn that into a television episode so yes. you're going to watch it on c-suite tv which we have a number of properties like a cctv c-suite radio we have a book club we have an academy all part of that c-suite network because we have to help all of these leaders, you know, both our right. members and people aspiring to be members, okay? Because not everybody is in the suite suit. Are you yet. you're going to talk more about that at the conference? Yeah, that, absolutely. Okay. So we'll have yes. Beth, well Beth there. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some of the membership and some gotcha. things that we're going to be rolling out, okay. uh, which we're still putting together now. But some nice. benefits that you can get, and, you know, and I can. We and maybe, we look forward to talking yeah. about it in a future show here. Oh, awesome! We, well, we love coming back. How important is it for for a C level executive of a small business? 
to get out of their office every oh. once in a while and attend such a conference. Well, you know what? We're so busy. And look, I'm a small business now. I run a small business. Now I run a couple of them, you know, so I own right. and chairman. And I'm, and I'm on the board of 14 different businesses. So, and, and some of those I own. Now, I, I think it's real important for you to get out because you have to be able to, first of all, if, if nothing else, to complain with somebody else that's like you, right? <laughs> the, about the things true, we got to go true, through. I mean, true. you need a little bit of that. Right. Moral support is a good thing. Right. But the other thing is to, to hear how others are solving the problems that you have to solve too. That's what you get to hear and you get a different perspective. See, I used to say that the C-suite network was about being and helping the executives who had to be the smartest people in the room. Okay. Until I remembered and I looked in the mirror, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I'm not. The people around me that work with me are really smart. They're the smartest people in the room. And so really what's the role of a C-suite executive, you as a leader? It's for you to be the most strategic person in the room. Interesting. So you have to think about how you are ahead of the people that you're working with because that's, your, that's the real role. It, it's, you know, they got to help deliver the promises that they set, those conditions of satisfaction, right. which I even talk about in my own book, Think Big, Act Bigger. Right. You, we've got, they, you know, my sales guy's got to lead the sales. We all have to deliver, but the person that's really responsible for making sure that all holds together and stay ahead of where it needs to be is the C-level executives, mm -hmm. whether it be in finance, whether it be in legal, whether it be in sales, whether it be in, in marketing, right. you know, or whether it be as the chief executive officer. So if you're the leader of a small business, of now we, we're targeting five million and above, that's okay. who we fire. But mm -hmm. even if you're aspiring business under five million, you still have to be the most strategic person in the room. Jeffrey, I saw that the theme for this coming conference is leadership. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, we all need to be talking about leadership. And I, I think in our businesses, big or small, you don't spend enough time thinking through the various elements that you have, right? In terms of how do we in, in, install trust with our team? How do we get them to the next point? How do we get them moving beyond where they're at and get them motivated? So all those things, how do we make up our culture of our company? And what goes into that? And so this is a chance for us to really get strategic because in, when you're sitting in the C-suite, it's a lonely place. A lot of people think it's very busy. You know, could I now look, I've been in a Fortune 100 company. Right. And when I'm sitting in the C-suite, there's only two or three people of us on the floor, quite frankly, you know, and a, and a couple of assistants. So uh, on the floor that I was on, there was only two other executives, meaning there was only two of us. So we on the entire floor yeah. and then then our assistants, you know, that we had and then we had conference rooms because we'd go from one room to another room, another room, another room, because while we were in one room, there would always be somebody else. But it's a very lonely, quiet place. Most and decisions made in those rooms affect tens of thousands of people or hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands you know of or or if you're in a smaller c-suite right a couple right oh, but, but dozens yeah, hundreds dozens. Yeah, exactly so but it, and it could mean whether you you know succeed or not but we don't we're so busy we're busy all the time doing all these meetings i talk about even though it's, but it's lonely right. Right. we don't have a lot of people to talk to and you might say, well, cry, cry, cry. And it's not about that. No. It's about being able to get with other people like me, like you, and but the diversity of that group and get different ideas. And how did you handle it? The way did you handle it? Because we all want to do our best. You know, nobody wants to wake up every morning and says, I can't wait to be stupid, right? <laughs> so, you know, at least not on purpose, right? Except for some of those people running for public office, possibly. But anyway, that's a different side. Of that. But they, they really want to do the right things. And so this is a chance for you to be able to come together and talk about leadership. What's it take? What do you need? How do you measure it? You know, how do you motivate it? How do you do it differently? You know, and then how do you how do you pass those things on the best qualities, the best things that you want to have into the teams that you're leading? So that's what this is about. And the ch chance to go and listen to some of the greatest speakers, as we mentioned, you know, vice chair of GE, I mean, Beth Comstock. Wow. I can't say enough good things about her. One of five, one of five female chairs, vice chairs in the world. You know, that's phenomenal. And, and, and Beth, who's leading, if you watch all the stuff at Innovation, those, those crazy innovation, I mean, she, she has mm -hmm. some commercial with some, like, a domino snowman or some creature or something. It's just cool to watch the stuff that they're doing, and, and you get a chance to have, you know, sit down, have coffee, hmm. and, 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 you know, break a little bread. But, you know, you, that's what this is about, going to C-Suite Network. And, you know, we do this online because we have an online community, but we also do it through the conferences, which is coming up March 13th to the 15th in Boston. So a chance for you to be able to come and come to that. And this is where you meet business. And business happens. 
You know, when yeah. you get C-suite leaders together, you get business leaders together, CFOs with CFOs, CMOs with CMOs, CEOs with CFOs, and so forth and so on, they bring some of their teams. And you start doing business together. And you start saying, oh, I have that problem, but hey, this is my, here's my solution. Hey, let me introduce you to, to, to Julie. And, and if Julie. I may, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go but ahead. Just, we live your in a show. Day, your but, show. Oh, please. <laughs> we live in a day and age. When so many people are reliant on just social media and I'll yeah. tweet to the person and I'll send them an email, whatever it is. But hey, God made us all human. Yeah. And at the conference, people are approachable. Mm-hmm. And I know that's kind of a refrain that's been coming out on this show tonight, but it's so true. I want to still bring that out more. When you mention one of the C-level executives at GE and you could say hi to the person, hear them in person and then ask them a question afterwards. I mean, the value of that is... Yeah, but the, and you, what you find is no matter... Look, you're, you're ahead of billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars of decisions, or whether it's hundreds of millions, right? right or a, a million or two. Right. It's, it's still human people. It's still right. around the human factor. And so, right. you know, the, the, again, the, I think the, the value that you get from a show like this, mm-hmm. and you reach so many, so many Thank people, you. and I know you guys are one of the highest rated shows. Thank I do you. know Thank that you. because I remember the last time I was on, That's you right. just we been broke announced. into the top 10. Yeah, it was yeah. unbelievable. Thank you. But it's a chance for you to be able to, to get connected with other people who are just like you. And you'll find that you're not alone. And it's and, and I'm I'm not trying to say the people in the C-suite are are are, are, ba- are don't have the the resources, but it's good to know there are other people, and you can lean on other people, and you can hear great advice. And it's all about leadership. And so be a leader, and be at the C-suite network conference. Seventy-seven WABC Radio presents Mind Your Business, hosted by founder and president of Bottom Line Marketing Group Yitzhak Saflis. Mind Your Business focuses on business and marketing strategies for success. 